Now let's talk about slope placement. Most places of the Altis or Stratis, uh, they don't have flat surfaces. This airstrip is one of those examples when uh, everything actually quite flat, but in most cases it isn't. And just as an example, let's take this place. It looks more or less suitable. Now let's try build something. Something, something like this, for example. As you can see, the object is placed uh, up, straight up. So it is not aligned to the surface level, surface normal. Now, in order to make it, ali uh, make it aligned, we press T. And as you see, object will be rotated automatically in order to fit the best way into this specific slope of the surface. Now with the buildings like this it actually doesn't look uh, good because nobody will uh, actually build something like this. It's, uh, it's madness. <laughs> you can't live in, the, in a building like this, right? So it doesn't really make any sense uh, to place buildings on uh, such a slopes. So maybe it's not the best solution. And as you can see, many objects in armor, they have quite huge amount of additional basement in there. So they can be hidden and still be placed uh, at the slopes. Maybe we should select this place. And we can lift it up a little bit. Now as you can see, although it's on the slope, it looks good. Looks good enough. But some objects, for example, let's say tents, they don't look good when they're placed straight up on uh, rather slopey places. Let's try and press T. Now as you can see it's much much better looking when it's aligned to the surface. And maybe this toilet also will look better when on the slope. Now at least it does does make sense by it's standing like this because there's a slope. Okay, so you can not only select the slope of the building before we place it, but also after. So you can select something and press T and it will change the orientation to stand up and you can press it again. So it will be aligned with the surface again. Same with the building. So you can actually move it around and change how object oriented. Now let's take a look at the option menu. We open it by pressing F1. As you can see there are several sliders to control things and uh, we can control it by sliding with the left mouse button or by typing in certain number and pressing enter. Now let's try this, the object height change. Let's set it to 1. Now, when object selected and its, cha its height changed by Alt and Mouse Wheel, it will be changed 1 meter 
per click of this of the mouse wheel now if we set it for example to 0 0.1 As you can see, it will change height much less per click. All these options are saved to profile namespace. So each time you load in, they uh, these options will be loaded as well. So they will stay the same from session to session. Now let's see uh, what kind of simulation options we have. For that, let's go back to the airstrip. Mm -hmm. Now let's go back to the add an editor. Let's place two soldiers here. The composition of those. Let's place some waypoints for them. Travel. Like this. Okay. Now let's go back to the composition tool. As you can see, there are no simulation. They are not going anywhere. But we can fix this by toggling the unit simulation. And as you can see, they started their work. We can use the bug console to do things like So the simulation will go faster. We can watch these guys doing their business. Oh, they didn't shoot me. Probably didn't notice me. <laughs> so sneaky. And there is also a uh, object simulation now for example if we grab these bricks they will actually affect other simulated objects for example houses are not simulated but those bricks are so we have to be careful we want to place objects in the simulation mode it might be a rather oh as you can see I place multiply of those objects let's skip the time acceleration back to one just to see how it works now we see we can create real madness with this And of course, we can switch the simulation back for objects and for units. They will immediately stop. And everything will be back to normal. I 
in any given time we can take control over our player we do this by pressing F11 and uh, as you can see we have full control over the player we can shoot stuff as you can see there is uh, no simulation for units or objects unless we switch it let's hide it a little bit because they will start shooting at us and let's exit the player control by F11 again and uh, we can switch the simulation on go back to the player control as you can see simulation is working they start shooting at me but don't worry we, we are invincible in this mode I can test stuff, maybe kill someone. And we of course can go back to the F uh, to camera mode. 